Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming a Shein haul. I had really good luck this time with the Shein haul, um, so I hope you enjoy it. And let me know what you think of all the bits in the comments. In the description bar, I will leave all of the links, all of the sizes that I bought, everything like that down there. One thing I would always advise with buying from Shein is to read the reviews and also to check the size chart on each individual item. I know it can seem like, oh, I can't be bothered, but honestly, it takes like two seconds. And once you know your measurements, literally just go in and check the size chart and make sure that they're the right size um, and then you should have good enough luck. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say that they have uh, bought stuff from Shein after seeing my hauls. So if you do, let me know and send me a picture. I love seeing them, so do send them on to me. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So this is the first dress. I hope you can kind of see it properly. I actually, I really like it. This was honestly one of those things I put in my basket just to make it a certain number so I got a discount off of it. I didn't necessarily look for this dress, but I did think it would be like a really cute option for like New Year's Eve, had Miss Corona not messed everything up. <laughs> but I really like it. So as you can see here, it has like a split here. I like as far as it goes because it doesn't go up too high that you're gonna be like conscious all night, but it's still showing a bit of leg. And then this is the top of the dress. So it fits really, really nicely in around my waist. And as you can see at the top then, it has like feathers. Like, yeah, they're, the feathers are falling out everywhere. But I kind of expect that with any type of dress that has these types of feathers, um, unless you're buying like extremely expensive material. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I really like it. I feel really nice in it. And I would definitely wear this. I will definitely wear this whenever we're allowed to go out again. Okay, so this next dress I love. It is too short though, but I love the feeling of it. It fits great. The length of my arm is brilliant. I I just think it's a gorgeous dress. I love this V so much and I love where it like comes in here. I feel like it's a very flattering dress on me. It comes in at my waist and kind of comes out from my hips. I love that. The only problem with this dress, literally the only problem with this dress is that it's too short. So I'm gonna step back a bit now. So you see the way like there's a slit here, which is perfectly fine, but it goes literally right up to where my underwear are. <laughs> and that's not the look we're going for right now. Um, I haven't even tanned up that high, so you know it's a short one. Um, but yeah, in general, if I don't mind the length of this skirt, like the back of it and stuff like that, I don't mind that. It's literally just that. If this was caught like here, this would be perfect. I much prefer it. I just think it needs like another like inch of material or even like a half inch of material and a little bit more give here just to cover you a little bit just so that you're not worrying about it all night long because I do feel like I'm very secure here I just don't feel secure down here so kind of raging but I do kind of love it I might take it to like a dressmaker to try and see if we could fix this situation because in general like I love this it feels really nice on the material feels really really good love it to be honest with you it's just a little bit of a pity that this is so exposed if you know what i mean so this is the next dress i really like this one it's quite like mermaid vibes which i really like um i like the material it feels good it does feel like it's a little bit see-through but um it's not that bad either um i do feel like there's a lot of like kind of excess material here that if it was a little bit more like ruched and a little bit tighter and a little bit um I think to be honest, I had bought this in a little bit of, in, a, in like maybe one size too big because if it was a bit tighter, I feel like it would be a little bit more figure hugging and a little bit more flattering. So that's, that's on me. I do feel like the um, kind of bra line of it, like there's no support if you're not wearing a bra. <laughs> um, so I don't know, I just kind of feel like this isn't the, the best way to like display the girls. But, um, Aside from that, like I do really like it. I like the color of it. I like the little split in it. I do think it could afford to be a little bit shorter, um, but again, you could take it up yourself. I do like the kind of iridescent color change of the dress. Like in different lights, it looks either blue, purple, or, or pink, which I do really like. But yeah, still, I definitely think with this one, it needs a little bit of work, but once you put the little bit of work in, it will be a gorgeous, like, show-stopping dress. <laughs> this is the next dress. 
I really, really like the idea of this dress so much. So the jumper I have, you might remember from a previous Penny's haul, haul even. <laughs> um, but this, I've just paired it with this dress because this is how we've seen it like advertised and I really liked it. I also have it like with white little boots. I think it's very cute. Um, my problem with this dress is while I love the material of it, it feels like it's really good quality material. Like it's quite a thick material. It doesn't feel cheap in any way. My only problem is these sleeves. They keep like sliding off um, and they just don't really sit that well. I think like they're supposed to be kind of just like a bit wider. They're not supposed to be like the normal kind of pinafore look. I'll put up a picture like maybe here as to how it's supposed to look. Um, but I just feel like they always just fall down, fall down, fall down. Um, I think that they are just maybe a bit too big. It, like the strap itself is just too big for me. So if I, if I was to like put a stitch in it or something like that or alter it just a little bit, I think it would be like absolutely perfect. I think it's such a cute little dress. It does kind of highlight like my little bit of tummy here, but that's grand. I think it's mostly like the jumper underneath is like causing that little line there. I seen they had this in a different design and I definitely would go for a different design, but just be aware like the straps do like fall off quite a bit if the straps don't sit well. It's kind of strange, it's like this is too big and then like this area around your tummy is quite small. So they should have just reworked the material a little bit, but yeah. Happy enough with this one. This is the next dress, it's a jumper dress. I really, really like it. I've actually already worn this. I wore it with tights and boots to work. Um, I do really like it. I would not recommend wearing it to work purely because it has a slit here and the slit is quite short. Um, so I kind of felt the entire day I was literally just like pulling it down. <laughs> but I do really like the dress nonetheless. Today I have just started it with like a little belt and I have these kind of heat, these kind of boots on um, and I think it's really really nice together. It is a very warm dress, I feel like the quality is really really nice in it. I've actually already washed it and it's come out perfect so that's one thing I really like about it. It is obviously going to show up any kind of lumps and bumps that you do have and like you can kind of see my tummy fairly obviously but you could always of course wear spanks but I just could not be bothered. Um, but yeah I really really like this dress i think it's really really nice i like the high roll neck on it i think the design of the knit is really nice the heaviness of it then i feel like it's heavy enough that you're warm but it's not heavy enough that you're like sweating which i really appreciate i do really like it um yeah so i just think it's a really nice handy one to have in your wardrobe even if you want if you weren't happy with the slit you could always just like sew that up again and just have it as just a normal um jumper dress I really really like it. I think it's gorge. This is the next item. I this is possibly you know, one of my favorite things I've bought from Shein ever. I love it so much. It's this gorgeous dungarees. It fits really nicely around my oh broke my nail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It has a really nice kind of thick band here around the waist, so I feel like it's really secure. It has pockets, which is unreal. <laughs> um, around the bottom of the leg, I don't know if you can see, but it's basically like cuffed in at the bottom, so you can kind of pull them up a little bit um, and just have a bit of a kind of gap between your leg and your shoe. <laughs> Quite like that aesthetic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this. It has like a zip across here. I don't know if this is a pocket actually. It is a pocket, more pocket. That's unreal. The only thing I will say about it is again, the straps on this, like that's as tight as realistically it should be for me um, to still have like this part be shown on my shoulder, but it's like, it's way too big on me. But that's fine, like you can always take a little bit of material off of it. I'd rather it's a little bit too big than it be a little bit too small. So yeah, I, overall, I love this. The only triggering thing about this, the only thing about this pattern is it's the exact same pattern as my school uniform in secondary school. This was what our skirts were made of and <laughs> it's taken me a lot of years to get back into this uh, pattern, but I do really like it. I think it's really nice for this time of year, especially. Um, and yeah, it reminds you of school a bit. <laughs> So this is the next thing. It's this gorgeous top, very comic book-esque. Really, really like it. I bought tops like this in the past off of Shein and I knew I'd like it. It is like, if you stretch it properly, it is the teeniest bit. Like you can see the ink will kind of come away, not ink, but the dye will kind of come away and you can see it stretched. But when it's on you, I think it looks really nice. I think it looks really cool. I have styled it with just this white, um, skirt and some white boots but you could style it whatever way you wanted to I just think it's really really nice in terms of length it's kind of to about here so it'll be kind of like a longer 
crop top it's not fully a top but it's not really a crop either it's kind of halfway between the two of them so pairing it with a skirt is probably the best way to go or high-waisted jeans oh this would look really nice with like high-waisted jeans and a black blazer so nice so this is the next t-shirt i really like it i think it's very nice i am obsessed with moons stars suns everything that type of aesthetic i'm obsessed with it um and i think this is just a really nice top I'm interested to see how it will wash though. <laughs> um, it fits really nicely and this is absolutely perfect. I would literally wear it how I'm wearing it now with some like mom jeans and a belt and maybe like chunky runners or something like that. Um, but yeah, really like this, fits really, really well. For a white t-shirt, it's actually not see-through and it feels like it's like decent quality. This feels like something I'd get in like new look. So this is the next top. You may recognize it. I got it the last time um, in a different color. In my last Shein haul, I got this in like a lilac purple kind of color. Loved it so much that I went back and bought it in the blue. Really, really like it. I think it's really, really nice for displaying the gals. Um, it's a really nice length of my arm as well. And I just feel like the color is really nice in it. The, paper, the purple one that I have washed really well. It didn't necessarily shrink or like lose its color or anything like that. So that's why I did go back and get this one. Um, yeah love it cheap as chips but actually is gorge the bottom part here you'll have to excuse i did not tan my tummy but um it, it's kind of like that like lettuce trim um on the end of it as well so it's super cute it, it is very cropped but you can see like there's not that much of a gap with my high-waisted jeans so yeah very cute love it i love this next top this is very my style i absolutely adore it so it's a black top and it has red dragons all around it i just really really like it the material is more of like a jersey material than like a t-shirt material oh hi neighbors <laughs> Um, it's more of a jersey material than like a t-shirt material it's kind of one of those ones where you get warm very quickly um, and if you've got any lumps and bumps it will show them but to be honest I really like it like it's quite cropped like it literally goes about here so you would need to wear either like a skirt with it or high-waisted jeans or if you are comfortable enough letting a bit of your um, tummy show then that's no problem as well but oh, I just love this I feel like it looks great um, again, I love where the t-shirt ends on my arms. It's not too long, not too short. It has a good bit of room. It has a little bit of room in it, not too much, but also I feel like I can breathe in it. I'm not afraid to put it into the wash and have it shrink a little, if that makes sense. So yeah, very happy with this top as well. I feel like this has been a good Shein haul. Touch wood, I've pretty much loved everything so far. Mine is like a couple of details that you could like alter and even maybe alter yourself this has been a good haul let's not let's touch wood just in case so this is the next top i really really like this so it has like a lettuce trim sleeve here watch my try and hauls before you will know that i like tops that are v-necked because i feel like a v-neck is just very flattering on me and <laughs> um, this one then has like that lettuce trim all the way up here and then it's kind of like um what's this thing called i don't know if you can kind of see because it's black but you can basically pull two strings here at the bottom and it like pulls it together so that you can make it a little bit shorter oh my god look how pale i am without any tan on wow um, or you can like just extend it out and have a bit of a longer top up to yourself i quite like this though because it does like fully bring it in like that and i think it just displays everything nicely <laughs> i do really like it it fits really nicely i would say if i was to go again i'd probably get the size smaller than this just purely because it's a little bit big but like i'm sure after a wash or two it will be fine the next top then is a almost like a half six scuba style top there's a little bit of excess material around the arms, but that's okay, it doesn't really bother me too much. Then like with the half zip, you can obviously have it up if you want, or you can have it down. I think I'd probably wear it down. Um, it says basic across it, and like this just summarizes who I am. <laughs> um, and I think it just like hits the nail on the head basic top <laughs> basic top or a basic bitch <laughs> but i really like it again you could style it whatever way you want it to the material feels good in it um it does feel like quite tight but not like overly tight so yeah really like this one so far i will definitely get lots of wear at this one this next top is very 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 similar it's still that kind of half zip top now this one does go down a little bit further but i feel like the collar and stuff 
um, I feel like the material in this is actually worse. This is more of like a ribbed material, which I personally prefer to like the scuba type material. But as you can see with this collar, like it just keeps flipping over. Now maybe if I washed it, it'd be fine. Um, but I can also see there's like a couple of like loose threads with this as well. So the material definitely isn't as good. But I do really like it. Like you can zip it up as much as you want or as far, far down as you want. Um, completely up to yourself. I'd probably keep it a bit more open. But yeah, again, it's quite cropped, like it's above my belly button. Um, there is quite a good bit of material kind of gathering around my wrists, but again, you could just take that up if it bothered you. Um, and yeah, very basic, but I do like it. I can see myself getting a good bit of use out of it. I just wish the material was a little bit better quality. But again, you get what you pay for. The next thing I got them was this hoodie. Uh, and it says like, nope, not today, across it, which I really, really liked. I bought this with the intention of it being like really, really oversized. It's not. I had bought this with the intention of it being like halfway down my thighs and I could just wear this with like leggings or something small under it, like bicycle shorts or whatever. But it's not, it's not that type of hoodie at all. It's a very, very thin hoodie. There is probably like no warmth in this. This is essentially just a top um, with a hood on it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, it has a pocket on it, which is great. I feel like this is the type of thing that I would pretty much end up using as like pajamas or just wearing around the house anytime Time that I'm cleaning or something like that because it's not what I originally wanted um, now look that's probably on me I probably just didn't read the reviews properly and didn't read the like size sharper properly but it is like the, if I pull it down for the longest like that's like that's where we're at I don't know if you can kind of see that there but like it's not very long at all but that's fine like other than that like it is if if you knew that this is what it was going to be perfect like there's nothing actually wrong with it yeah it's fine I, I like it it's just not what I wanted it to be if that makes sense and this is the last item this looks so weird on camera <laughs> um this is like a little top like a little kind of corset top not gonna lie to you it feels quite cheap material there's like a bit of metal that basically goes here to like give you this shape and then the rest of it is just essentially like a velvet dress there's no kind of corset in it or there's no kind of structure to it it's the only structure is with this the kind of bar here this is definitely way too big on me um if you're going to get something like this i definitely would reorder it because i think it's gorgeous especially for the price but i definitely would size down um i can't remember what size i got but i will leave it below but like i don't know if you can even see there but like there's a lot of room in this i feel like if it was tighter um and like stuck onto you a bit more then it would be perfect but how it is it's just way too big on me right now but yeah i like it in general <laughs> so this is what the coat looks like so the next thing i got then was a coat i actually bought this on black friday and um, i am like i kind of love hate this coat um i've actually worn it a couple of times since i got it i got this whole order by the way on black friday i'm only getting around showing you now but i did actually order on black friday they had like a massive sale on so i did that's why there's so many things that i bought in it it's because there was such a good sale on um but i have to say like i do really like this outfit i'm gonna pull it down a bit for you so i hope you can kind of see this properly but like it's 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 a really nice length it has pockets in it i wish the pockets were a little bit more forward they're kind of here like at the very side which is a bit bizarre but at least it has pockets um i do really like the buttons on it i think they're really cute i like that it's kind of that that like teddy bear style coat i will say that um it does feel a little bit cheap like when you put it on it does feel very slouchy very almost like i've put pajamas on that kind of feel i would i do think i prefer it to be a little bit more structured in some way um but yeah i do really like it it's very very soft it is incredibly warm like it is insanely warm i wore this to the crescent i wore this to the crescent one of the days big 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 mistake way too warm <laughs> so this is the next um kind of jacket thing that i got um this is definitely way too small for me um i had hoped this would be a bit more oversized than it is um like i can zip it up and it will zip up on me but it's really tight and i don't really like that so i'd probably just wear this open um i like that i like the style of it i like that it has pockets here at the front i think they're really really cute i love the little um collar on it again though i just feel like it's very very slouchy there's kind of no structure to it and ultimately i don't know 
I don't know. <laughs> um, it just kind of feels like it's a bit cheaper. I, I think I nearly prefer to just pay more money to get one that is a little bit more structured. I totally understand you pay what you get for. No, you get what you pay for. <laughs> and this definitely is the case with this one. This one, even though it looks really nice, I'd probably skip it. This is the next thing I bought. This is just like for pajamas. It's super duper soft. It's like a hoodie. It has a little hood on it. And the little hood, let me put it on for you. The little hood has, oh, does it? Am I blind? Oh no, yeah, here. <laughs> the little hood has little ears on it, um, which I think is super cute. Uh, it's kind of like a cropped jumper. I didn't think it would be this small, to be honest with you. If I was getting this again, I'd definitely get it like two or three sizes up from this, just so you have room in it. Now it does have like an elastic band kind of around it as well. So like if you wanted to kind of wear it just as like a little crop, you definitely could. Um, but because I was buying this with the intention of it being pajamas, I don't really care about an elastic band around here. I don't care if it's like a blanket on me, you know, I just want it to be fluffy and warm, which it is, but I definitely would have gotten it oversized because I thought I had bought oversized, but apparently not. <laughs> so this is the next thing I bought. I'm not gonna try it on just because Honestly, I've been filming this video for like three hours now and I'm wrecked. <laughs> There's only two things left. So the, the next thing I got then was this black pinafore cord dress. I have to say, I probably would not buy this again. I just feel like, I actually wore this on Christmas day with like a lovely red top underneath it. But these straps, literally they just don't stay on. So half the time, like it was like this, like the front part here was just like one of the straps would always be off and I'd be constantly fixing it. The straps, just kind of like everything else today, the straps were a little bit too long no matter how much I actually tightened them, they were still just a little bit too small. The material, it's not that kind of really nice cord material, it's a really cheap cord material um, and I didn't really like that. It does have obviously the main pocket here but it doesn't have pockets down the sides which I also would have preferred. I just felt like I would have preferred the pennies version of these when they come into pennies every year. These are just a cheaper version of them. And so I would probably stay away from this in the future. It's cute and everything and it's nice, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, you know? And then the last piece of clothing that I got was actually this top. Um, and it says on it, Christmas Eve, merry and bright. And I did wear this on Christmas Eve with pajama bottoms. Um, and it's very cute. I will say though, the, the top of it, it's very like open. <laughs> um, I'm used to pajamas being like, to like where the, the collar I suppose being like around here or the neck of it being like around my neck. This was very kind of like open like that, which I wasn't really expecting, but um, it was still really nice. I've washed it a few times now and it's still perfect. So yeah, happy enough with this, would definitely get some more Christmas bits next year. I think that that is everything that I got from Shein this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely got some good bits and there's definitely a couple of bits that mm, I'll stay away from in future and definitely read the reviews a little bit more than I did this time. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye guys.